One day after the sentencing of Larry Nassar and the resignation of now former Michigan State President Lou Anna K. Simon, the Michigan House of Representatives has informed Michigan State that all documents relating to the Nassar case must be turned over in the course of the next two weeks. Jonathan Oosting has been covering this story for the Detroit News, published a story on Thursday titled, What's Next? Jonathan, let's start there. With President Simon resigning, with the Board of Trustees set to meet on Friday, and with this latest news coming from the House, what is the next step for the administration of Michigan State? Well, the, the next step immediately is going to be that the board, as you mentioned, is going to meet Friday. They're going to start discussing a potential interim president for Michigan State. But also the board itself is still facing pretty intense scrutiny. Uh, just because Luana K. Simon has resigned doesn't mean that people uh, are going to stop criticizing uh, folks at the top at Michigan State. And, in fact, many people are still calling on the trustees themselves to resign as well, specifically Trustee Joel Ferguson. He's facing a lot of pushback still from comments he made this week uh, that sort of dismissed the, the severity of the Nassar case by referring it to it as this NASA thing. Um, so uh, in addition to scrutiny of board members, of course, there are multiple investigations either underway or pending. You mentioned the fact that the State House is requesting documents for its own inquiry. The NCAA, of course, has already announced that it is investigating MSU. And finally, Attorney General Bill Schuette is likely um, or in other words, made very clear that he is going to announce an investigation as soon as the final uh, victims uh, have their chance in court at sentencing in a separate Nassar case in Eaton County later this month. Jonathan, in most cases, the Board of Trustees is nameless. It's somewhat faceless. That changed with Joel Ferguson's comments early this week. I think most people don't understand what exactly the Board of Trustees is entrusted to do. What is the scope of their power? What do you anticipate them leaving the meeting on Friday having decided? Yeah, sure. Well, they, uh, one of their big jobs, of course, is to select a president for the university and then hold that uh, president accountable. Um, that's what they've been pressured to do in recent weeks was to uh, force Melinda K. Simon to retire. They did not do that. Uh, they stuck by her side throughout this. Uh, and their next big task is going to be to decide her replacement. As you mentioned, most folks don't really know the Board of Trustees. They are statewide elected positions. Uh, voters across the state selected, for instance, Joel Ferguson for that position. However, these, these races are usually pretty far down on the ballot, and people from uh, very far away from East Lansing probably don't know much about the trustees that they end up selecting, and often do so along party lines. Jonathan, what is the likelihood that any member of the current Michigan State staff could be named interim, or is the guilt by association factor here so big that the Board of Trustees is going to have to go outside? Uh, I think what they're going to do certainly is, is look outside because they want a fresh face uh, for the situation. They want somebody who can come in as a cleanup specialist or somebody who can say, I'm here to right the ship, uh, not only internally, but uh, for donors who might be having cold feet right now about supporting a program or a university in turmoil. Jonathan, with both those aforementioned investigations, the Michigan AG and the NCAA expected to begin soon. and will likely run concurrently, how difficult will it be for Michigan State to simply operate on a day-to-day -day basis? Uh, it's going to be very difficult. To, of course, in addition to those investigations, there's also civil litigation going on, civil lawsuits uh, that uh, university attorneys are going to be forced to spend a lot of time uh, defending the university from uh, in order to uh, mitigate uh, what will probably still nonetheless be very large payouts down the line. Um, so certainly um, the controversy is going to continue, and it makes it hard even for the Board of Trustees. You know, their meeting last Friday uh, was swarmed by reporters myself included, um, and it makes it uh, you know, a little more difficult for them to uh, make decisions when they have to do so in the public light, uh, which of course is good for taxpayers who are paying part of the university bill, uh, but could slow uh, the wheels of progress a little bit uh, in this process. Jonathan Oosting of the Detroit News. Jonathan, we truly appreciate the insight. Thank you.